Aztec ruins? Not really. That's the name the park got when it became a national monument in 1923, but the Aztecs were never here. This 900-year-old site was built by ancestral Pueblo people, the same group that inhabited Chaco and Mesa Verde. This place is not considered a ruin. To modern-day Pueblo people, it is still a sacred home to their ancestors. At any rate, it's a fascinating place to visit. In the early 1100s, people migrating out of Chaco Canyon, an enormous center of ceremony and trade, began a colony on the banks of the Animas River. They brought in wood from the La Plata Mountains, 40 miles north. They hauled in sandstone and shaped it into smooth-faced blocks. Over the course of 30 years, they built a great house of at least 400 rooms towering three stories high. Visitors today wander through the excavated portion of the building on a short self-guided trail. Be prepared to duck through low doorways and marvel at unique features, like ancient timber ceilings, deep kivas, and corner doorways. A highlight of visiting Aztec ruins is stepping down into the reconstructed Great Kiva, rebuilt by archaeologist Earl Morris in 1934. I think it's a humbling experience to enter such a sacred place and admire the engineering skill of ancient builders. From time to time, modern Pueblo people come back to the site to honor their ancestors. Watching them dance in the Plaza of West Ruin is a truly amazing experience. Other special events include a December Luminarias display, Earth Day in April, and Junior Ranger camps during the summer. Lots of programs are targeted specifically toward children, the next generation of park stewards. Kids can earn a Junior Ranger badge by completing activities in the park. Rangers travel to local classrooms to present programs on a wide variety of topics. This is not a place you forget. This is a place that leaves you in awe.